Guests have spent their careers building and creating dream playhouses. Their outrageous and wildly unique designs can go for more than $100,000. You might know them as the stars of Playhouse Masters. Please welcome back Audie and Tyson Levitt. They are joining us from the Charmed Playhouses workshop. Hey, guys. Hey. hey. Well, just to, just to reference, behind you, that is a, that's not a real house. That's an actual, just like a playhouse, right? It's a, it's a playhouse. You know, something we replaced for the New York uh, apartments, right? Yeah. Like a castle. That's, in, that's amazing. Now, Audie, you say that your playhouses aren't just for kids, right? It's always hard to tell if the kids are more excited about it or the parents are more excited about it. It's usually a toss-up between the two. Right. But like the one behind you, that's a duplex. That's two levels, right? Yeah, it's, you know, one is for uh, Kelly. Kelly gets upstairs and you get downstairs. Yes. Right. She's Rapunzel in this situation. <laughs> <laughs> Audie, what is one of the coolest playhouses you've been asked to build? Oh, man, we've done lots of cool stuff. But I, I think one of my favorite projects was a recent one that we did. And it was a half of a Bell's Cottage. And the other half was a Rapunzel Tower kind of merged together. Oh, yeah. And it was really cool because it shows Aww. you don't have to pick one of your favorite things. You can put two of your favorite things together. Uh -huh. Or if you have two different kids who like different things, you can put it together in one playhouse. So people can request certain things. Like if I wanted one that looked like a dragon, you know, with like a whole bunch of hobbits hanging out, like I can do that, right? <laughs> Heck yeah, we can take any idea that you guys have, or even if you don't have an idea, and we'll put it on paper and then make it come to life. That's what's kind of unique about what we're doing. Tyson, you did a castle for a family in Colorado too, right? Yeah, we did, yeah. Yeah. It was uh, it was one heck of a castle. It had like swings oh and slides and unbelievable monkey bars and climbing nets. Yeah, you, as you can see it right there. It's, oh yeah. And we put these really cool lights, uh, the gemstone lights all over them, which actually my that brother is made up here. And yeah, it's really like a resort. A, a cool it's like the ultimate area. mini golf course, right? <laughs> Tyson, tell us about the kids therapy room you recently designed. Oh man, that one was close to the heart. So that was up in Edmonton for a company called Over the Rainbow. And mm -hmm. the two sisters, they own this wow. company together oh. and they call themselves the Fairy Sisters. And they had this idea to transform their garage, which is just a, a regular boring old garage into this magical enchanted forest. So and so we came up with the concept. Yeah, so that was a garage. And, and we came up with this concept where everything you can interact with and it, it wow. helps the kids in their therapy so uh -huh. that they can become stronger. But they don't realize that they're just playing and actually strengthening their body. Absolutely, awesome. yeah. That's great. Now, Tyson, tell us more about the castle behind you. Can okay. you talk to us about so it? So we kind of mix and match a bunch of different styles. Uh, this family had, uh, you know, a theme that they really loved. So we, we pulled all the styles together. And as you go in, I really wanted uh, a neat fireplace that you could see through those those bay windows on wow. the outside. Wow, that is That's incredible. That's a working fireplace. That's a working fireplace. Uh, yeah, it's electric, so it's it won't burn look. the kids, but it'll keep oh. it warm. Right. The whole playhouse is insulated. We left the the rafters just above uh, exposed so that you know it gave some detail. And then you go upstairs through a small staircase. Another area where we'll put some play accessories, a bridge across so that kids can shoot arrows at each other or whatever. Oh, yeah. And you go into this tower, and one of the coolest parts about this tower is actually when you look up at the ceiling is this exposed beamwork that is just so cool that I wish I had in my own house. Look, and it has like an escape out through a slide and the door. trap door. Oh, my gosh. That's so oh cool. Oh, my goodness. It's a dream for any kid. Beautiful. Yeah. That's awesome. So great. Thank you. Do they take tenants? <laughs> right? Are you accepting renters? <laughs> <laughs> we are. The other thing that's cool about that one is it has a door on the second story that you'll be able to get on a broom and a zip line and, and zip no line way. down really? 200 feet. You should yeah. Airbnb these places. Totally. Hey, we want to someday. You, yeah, you can be, be our so first cool. guest. So we'll do, you, be there. do you build them in your warehouse and then you, you take them piece by piece and ship them? How does that work? Yeah, so we build them here in, in Lethbridge, Alberta. Uh -huh. We've got this massive crane above us, and we build it so it all splits. So, like, right above me here, it all splits right along this line and then quickly reassembles on site so we don't make a mess of people's yards and we're in and out. Could you imagine being a kid and the truck pulls off and that comes I out mean, into your yard? Even look at the lights behind them. They awesome. keep changing. The attention to detail is so yeah. cool. Yeah, pretty incredible. Yeah. Thank you, Thank Audie. You. Thank you, Tyson. Thanks, Thank you all so much. You bet.